Welcome back to Black Clover Anime Review, episode number 75. This review is the 120th episode of the anime To the Heart Kingdom and the 200 manga Dante vs. the Captain of the Black Bulls. First, let's start with the new episode of the anime, which adapts chapters 1, 224, 226, and boy oh boy. This one, they made some visual changes. They actually added a whole scene. Yes, they actually had a scene in here to this episode. And I'll explain exactly. Now, they did actually cut out a page here. And there's a slight change here with this one. Yes. So, the epi now, they actually have a different opening than what the chapter of the manga start with. Basically, they come back. It's like Raph, they come back from... Gordon's house and Gordon's revealed. This is actually this whole first like few minutes complete and original. It's not actually from the manga, where it's like okay, like they come back from great Gordon's house and it's just the core of my microphone. It's all tangled up here. Yeah, so Gordon decided to stay behind just to explain some occurrences, and Goosh and Gray didn't like the food, so basically they're pooped out. Yeah, they're actually, believe it or not, not, well, they do make a, I think Gordon makes a, I think Goosh makes a, I think Gray makes a brief cameo appearance in the chapter, but, yeah, this whole thing, completely am original. So, we had to figure out, they had to figure out where they get the Harkin, and he's like, okay, I'll, I'll talk to somebody, and then he comes back and says, nope, can't do it, we ha we don't have, we can't exactly do it, so, like, what are they going to do? So, they figured, though, okay, why not ask Mimosa? She's been there. Like, okay. Now, now this is a sequence they actually add here. It's a slight change ahead of the manga. He tells Farrell, like, okay, wheels, take him to the Golden Hikor. He's like, sure. And somebody wants to see there. Yeah, that part, that actually was completely unoriginal. But then we go there, and mostly put, this is a complete change right here. The scene is presented exactly the same, mostly the same dialogue. It just, well, the scene with. With Lagarus, Fenerol's younger brother, and Fenerol. The scene itself is presented exactly the same, except they actually make some changes to this thing. First of which, in the actual manga, when Fenerol enters Lagarus' room, he does a video spatial magic. In the anime, he opens the door. Yeah, which, that's quite a surprise. Yes. But mostly put, yes, it's the same. Though they add a little word dialogue here later. But from that point forward, Still the same dialogue. They talk for a while, basically, about what happened. And the fact that Farrell proclaims she'll, he'll be the man who takes, be worthy of the next head of the house, and take Miss Farrell as a bride. She is happy to hear about this, and then he basically, Legris gets out of bed, and walks off, and basically talks to him. It's like, he, he tells her, he tells her he's, don't worry, I'm not going to hold him again. And they walk through a hallway. This is, this is a minor tweak here. Now, in the manga, the door opens from the right. Because they adapted this for an anime, they changed it where a door opens goes to the left. And here's another visual change. In the anime, when they come across the, the girl with glasses from the Golden Dawn, she's presented in the manga standing to the right, and the other woman is standing to the left. In the anime, they switched it. Yeah, it's a minor visual change. It's not really affecting anything. Yeah, of course, you know, oh, look, look at these cuties. And, of course, well, then, of course, Luggers chastises him for being a playboy and a failure. And it says, break these habits and you'll get Fenice. Otherwise, though, I will take Fenice. And that's that. As for a scene with Mimosa, and when, when, when you have Noel and Osme with Mimosa, it's mostly the same. It's not really much different. Most of the same dialogue. And, of course, they agree to go there. Of course, the file application to go there. Anyways. Now, the next sequence, believe it or not, that comes Raph, that this whole brief, like, three-minute scene, it's complete anime original. Mm hmm Yes. Where we actually reveal where Yami got the boat from. Yes. Because in the manga, it's like, oh, they're on a boat. It's like, what? Why the heck do they have a boat now? They're going to go to the Hawk Kingdom. The location they take four people with them. Of course, Oz is going to go Noel and Fenrir, just like in the manga, which that kind of explains why they basically go there, at least to get a question for that, and the question for the boat. And basically, Yami's, of course, Fenrir was like, hey, Yami, I didn't know you had a boat. 
Now, I borrowed this from the Wizard King. I talked to Marks about it. It's perfectly for Ghost Calls and Mushroom Head. And I should point out, though, that the rest of the character here, most of the people who appear in the scene, with the exception of Vanessa, of course, this comes from Chapter 225. Yeah, none of these characters actually appear in 225. None of them do. And in this scene, basically, to wish off Asta, Fenrir, Noel, Mosa, and Lowe, Nero, is Yami, Klaus, Vanessa, Magna, and Luck. These five characters, not in the chapter itself. It's a brief scene, but it's great. They shut off, and they go into Heart Kingdom. And it's... I gotta hand it to Studio Para for this particular scene. It's done beautifully in the anime. They It's a little bit extended, basically, in the fog. And then we see Heart Kingdom. It's, like, so spectacular. And it's similar when it is in the manga, but... I gotta hand it to them. It makes it so... It looks so beautiful. And... Yeah, they basically look around. And then, of course, that's when they have the spirit guys show up. Well, they have this little sequence they had here on the boat, which actually is also not from the manga, completely am original. This brief, like, one and a half meter sequence of basically a Mosa saying, Okay, let's have lunch. And she prepared this. Yes, a woman who, from a no family, prepared food. No, in case you're wondering, this is nothing unusual in the anime to do, where a ritual woman can basically be a good cook. There's a few series I've seen like this, like High School DXD, for example. The female lead of that series comes from a rich family, and she's a very good cook. Other good examples, let's see. There is Sonata from Naruto. She comes from, she's, she's basically the, the daughter of the head of a clan, and she's a damn good cook, too. I'm trying to think here, let's see. I believe Orhime is also a good cook, too, even though she's not from a wealthy family. Yes. Other series I've seen, basically where you have a female character from a, from a rich family who's actually a really good cook. Let's see. Off the top of my head. Hmm. Hmm. I could say it could be... Uh, I'm not counting Kagoma because she's from a middle class family. She's not from a rich family per se. I'm not counting that one. Let's see. I'm trying to think, it was like any other series basically watched where they were the fem where where a female character is actually from a wealthy family who's rich and who is a good cook. Hmm. A previous series I watched. Hmm. Oh, yes, from Rama Half. Um, what was her name? She's this is sort of uh, one of the rivals of the series. Let's see if I can find him here. It is... Kadachi. Yeah, wealthy family, and yet she's a damn good cook. Bear Cook, the female lead of the series. So yes, there have been a few series I've watched where you have a female character from a wealthy family who's actually really cook. Basically, she bears some sandwiches. Nothing very hard in the sandwich. Actually, pretty good. And of course, Asta basically eats a little too much, like ask for some water. So, of course, <laughs> the well basically shoves a bunch of water in his mouth via basically her magic. Like, that's too much, too much. You try to drown me? I thought this was so hilarious. And they actually edit a sequence here uh, basically talking about cute, basically, Noah and Mozart, and of course, Nero. And that little image actually is not from the manga. That's completely an original. And then, when, of course, they arrive at the Heart Kingdom, everything is perfectly fine. And then they have the Spirit Garden shows up. Now, in the now in the manga, he just randomly walks the boat. In the anime, they actually show up actually arriving on the boat, and they didn't have to turn around in order to look at him. He's already seen him on the boat. And mostly put, it's presented pretty much mostly the same. Where they talk, well, basically, he remembers Mimosa, how powerful she was when she was the last visit. And, of course, they do the, the wire stairway. This is so the same. They do cut out one minor thing here of basically a statue. There was one thing that they cut off 124 was when they had the character basically having a massive feast. Yeah, that was completely cut out. Probably because it would not make any sense to do that after coming back right back after Asta just came back from Gordon's house.
Yeah. I get the reason why they cut that. It was completely unnecessary. And then, of course, they have... It pretty pretty well until Asta is shoved off to a hole. They have revealed this later where this hole is. Excuse me. And then, of course, you have Fenrir, Mimosa, and Noel fight Gila. He's the spear guardian. And... They actually, they actually added a little bit here where Fenrir actually got Mimosa and Noel in the air. And in the course, like, he's thinking, hmm, this looks like third level magic. Like third stage magic. Yeah, this is the first time they mentioned stages. Yeah, this, the whole stage thing is actually not properly explained until toward the very end of this very arc. Which, by the way, thanks to this episode, we have two chapters left they have to adapt. Yeah, two freaking chapters. And they actually show in the anime because in the manga, when they, when they do this, basically, Noelle's already in her Valkyrie armor form. In the manga, she's like, oh, she, they actually show the sequence, like she transformed into it, which quite, it's quite a good sequence. And in the manga, it's like, oh, she's in her form for some reason, yeah. And of course, there's a, there's a slight tweak here when they have Mimosa fire her energy blast at Gila. Yeah, in the manga, Fenrir was standing right behind the flower. In the anime, he's standing off to the side, not in this particular shot. That's a minor change there. And then pretty much, like, they proceed battling for a while. And then, of course, we cut over to Asta falls through a hole. And mostly put, this scene is a bit the same, but it's, it's actually extended in the, manga, in the anime. Where Asta gets there and fights one of the these water warriors, and he brings out his sword. In the manga, his sword's automatically out. It's a minor thing to add here. And he proceeds to take out pretty much all of no, no problem at all. Then he fights the Undying, yep, who proceeds to imprison him. Now, they actually added this thing, which I thought this was really cool. Nero flies down and turns back to her human form, Sorrel, using her magic to, un to basically undo the chains, and then they actually change a little bit of wording here at the end of the episode. Where he finds where the queen is. And he just goes right through. He's like, he texts her key. And he's like going right through. He's like, pardon me, coming in. And that's pretty much the episode. And surprisingly, there's no... You know those little shorts they show in the episode? The, the clover clips? Yeah, there's none this week, surprisingly, which I thought that was kind of weird. Probably because it's kind of like a two-parter in a way. But it looks like next week we're not going back to this for some reason. We're actually going to what the rest of Black Bulls are up to next week with the, with the episode Devil Ma Magic kind of was actually his name of a chapter for the manga that's from the Time Skip arc. Yeah. So, I was kind of expecting maybe they wrap up this ep this arc next episode, but they might extend this arc for a couple more episodes. Yep. So, now, we start off with a new chapter of the manga. Dante vs. Captain of the Black Bulls. Chapter starts up exactly where last chapter left off. Basically, everyone's like, so happy to see Yami. <laughs> I'm happy to see him, too. He's like... He's like, I see. That spell. So, you're Yami Shakurato. And it looks like you're the spade devil host. Can't say that I care, despite the fact you see Goosh and Ass in the ground. Yeah, these two do pretty much nothing in the whole chapter. Whoever you are, where are you from? You're dead meat. Yeah, he's in the series like a lot. Ha <laughs> ha, excellent mouse, but nobody looks down at me. He uses grind magic. And doesn't really affect him much. It's like, you're not groveling. Not bad at all. I've eaten in the army says, I've learned something over the past few, six months. See? I'll give it a test drive. Mana Zone and Black Hole, Dark Magic, Black Moon, and he's like, "What? This is." He's erasing the spell with his territory. Interesting. So this is Dark Magic. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, at first time he's experienced it. So basically, launch attack on him, and he uses he's and Yami uses using my Dark Magic, Dark Cloak Dimension Slash, slides to a freaking rock. He's like slicing part. Ah, I see. This is arcane from an arcane sage. What's looking for? Gravity magic and for in fighting gladiator. Yeah, it brings out a freaking sword. And the army and of course they basically clash for a little bit. He's like, I'm reflecting his moves before he makes them. 
by using Mana reading his key. I'm not even on Julius level yet. <laughs> yeah, the Wizard King. Ah, very good, Yami. It kind of sounds like you know me. What are you, a stalker? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's right. You're what I'm after. Popular with dudes like you doesn't make me happy at all. You are a key to Lynx's world with the underworld. Yeah, I was like, underworld? Quit the crazy talk, stalker. It's a shame, though. Who would have thought Yamashiro would be such a vulgar, shabby fellow? He's like, what is with this punk? How did a man like you carve so many people with such unique magic? He's like, this is the first time I'm jealous of a human. Thank you for this new mouse. Your arcade stage is already mine. From now on, they'll be serving me with my ends. I was like, Arcane Sage, just serve your ends. What are you talking about? I just let these guys into Black Bulls because I like them. I'm not giving up a single one of them. And then he proceeds to slash him right through his freaking belly to a creepy dude like you. Awesome chapter. Love it. Give this chapter another 10 out of 10 because of how freaking good it was. I love this chapter. Awesome. Yes. 10 out of 10. Looking forward to next chapter comes out Sunday. Yep. Who knows? Yami takes down the main villain, but it's kind of shame, though, the main character of the series is just lying on the ground. Okay. I mean, it's great to see Yami. I mean, I get the fact why the writer decided to spend the whole chapter on him. Because he's been absent since the, since. Before the time skip. That was the last time we saw him in the manga. That was back in chapter two, 228. This is chapter 245. It has been 17 chapters since we last saw him. And it's great to see the guy again. Actually, more, more like 16 chapters. Yep. Definitely looking forward to the next chapter that comes out on Sunday. I'll read it and I'll review it on Tuesday. Yep. So, that's it for this particular review. I might have time to do one more review tonight. Hopefully get a chance to review the first my first part review for My Bride is Our Maid. Okay, do this next video. Bye.